Hi everyone, and I'm so happy that you could have joined me for another video. Happy International Women's Day to the lovely women who have been joining and watching my videos. I pray that this video especially will bless your heart. You know, when I woke up this morning, I did not remember that it was Women's Day, International Women's Day. And even as the messages started coming in, so too did the Lord bring back a word from scripture about this particular woman, woman rather, in the book of 2 Samuel. She had no name, but she was wise and she saved a city. And as I reread that story, the Lord just started to, you know, minister to my heart certain things that he wants to share and encourage his woman. And so I want to, you know, release that to us as women that we may be encouraged. You know, people may not know our names, but he has given us wisdom and that wisdom can do great things like saving a generation. So I just want to tell you a little bit about that woman who had no name. You know, we have read about powerful women in the bible even some women who have had books of the bible named after them you know ruth and esther we've learned about abigail who became the wife of david we know of mary we know of deborah right we've we've learned of many powerful women or women who did great things in the bible yet there was this woman who did a significant thing yet she had no name and so we read in 2 Samuel 20, and I'm not going to read, you know, all of it because I'm, I made notes in my journal, you know, I have my journal. And so I just want to share as I was reading the things that the Lord was bringing to mind. So here it is that we have this man named Sheba, right? Now Sheba straight up was a troublemaker, right? He was a rebel and he wanted to start a revolt against King David. Now, we know King David to be the Lord's chosen, right? <laughs> and so here it is that this man said, so listen, we have no part in David. We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. And he started to turn people against King David. Now, we know how that can happen when people start to turn, you know, citizens against kings that it can and deadly for the king and so king david was like listen i can't have another situation like absalom my son who literally tried to kill me and take the kingdom away from me and if it not if it was not for the lord woo! and so here it is that this man sheba start create this little trouble and say listen Men of Israel, go back to your homes. We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. We have no, we're not taking part in nothing like nothing for Jesse, nothing for King David. And so because of that, David said, listen, I have to nip this in the bud. I have to ensure, you know, I have to ensure that a revolt doesn't rise up against me. And so he sent his commander, Joab, commander of his army to go out searching for Joab. Now, Joab was a real general, like Joab was a G. Joab said, if you're for dead, you're for dead. And he had that instruction, like, listen, Sheba must dead. Now, Sheba at this time, I'm going through all of Israel to gather up, so gather up the masses to get a little crew. You know, you try like in petitioning, like, yeah, man, we're not, we're not deal with, we're not deal with David. And so because of that, he went through literally all the tribes of Israel seeking to muster strength until he came to this city called Abel. And that is where we meet this wise woman. So him gone to Abel and that's where his descendants were from. And he's gathering army there and they're ready to go out to battle to take on Joab and the other, you know, um, soldiers who were sent by King David. And so, Remember, I tell you that Joab is a real G, he's a general. They start attacking the fortified walls of the city of Abel, ready to destroy it. Like, he has that mandate. And of course, people looking on, like, oh, what kind of destruction this man Sheba come carry on to our city? And so, 
there it is that job is there attacking with his troops attacking that fortified wall to break it down so he can go in because he has that mandate like anything in the way i go dead and this wise woman the scripture says in second samuel 16 says this wise woman called out to Joab. she called out to him and she said listen to me Joab. come over here so i can talk to you now imagine men going after men and this woman who is brave and wise to shout and say listen to me come over here and he hearkens to her voice he goes over and he listens to what she has to say and then the words of wisdom just start coming out of her mouth and she says listen carefully to your servant now this is in verse 17 and you know why she did this because she's acknowledging that yes you are the commander of the army of israel i recognize your authority i am not trying to step on your authority but i have something to say i have wisdom to give you i wonder if the holy spirit just giving you things right now from this that you have things to say you have things to bring to the table you're not going to discredit the wisdom that he has given to man or men but he has also endowed you with wisdom from above and you respect the authority the kingship that he our lord has set in place and so she says listen carefully to your servant and then she says listen it is, it is usually said that if you want to settle an argument, ask advice at the town of Abel. Remember, that's where she is, you know. So she's, she's also schooling him that, listen, you've come to a place where when people have disagreements, they seek wisdom from this place. Then she goes on to say, I am among the peaceable and faithful in all of Israel. Then she says, why are you seeking to destroy this wise town of Abel. Why are you seeking to destroy this important town in Abel, in Israel rather? Why do you want to devour what belongs to the Lord? In other ways, she's saying, why are you coming against the Lord in this matter, in this manner rather, seeking to destroy this city? Ooh! So she's allowing him to see the error in his ways. Yes, he has been given a mandate and he's going out to do what he has the backative of the king who listens to the lord who loves the lord who is faithful to the lord yes with his errors but with a repentant heart you know and yet he was still flawed because yet he is yet here he is coming to destroy an important town in israel and so that makes him stop and think you know there are women that the lord has given you such a grace to speak when you enter a room when you speak when you open your mouth to speak people listen they want to hear what you have to say and i just declare that over you in a greater measure even now and so he said listen i'm not trying to do that at all i just come here for that trouble me for that rebel name sheba and then she says very well this is what she says we will give you his head she not even said we will hand him over to you know she said we will give you his head so here it is again that she is using her wisdom to say if he is wanted by you because he's a troublemaker to you he's also a troublemaker to us because we are submitted under the king david of israel so if he's not wanted we don't want him so not only are we going to hand him over to you we're going to hand over his head so we're gonna kill him behead him and give you him like do you do you understand just how wise this woman was that this battle literally stopped so a woman could speak to a man and if you understood in those times you know how the the place that women had in certain respects yes there were women in the old testament who did mighty things but yet there was a place there was a place and to know that the lord gave her that wisdom from above to stand up to say listen come over here listen to me let me tell you about the history of this town what you are seeking to destroy what belongs to the lord how can you devour what belongs to the lord it's a terrible thing to do that it's not wise and so not only did she say we'll give you his head but after so he agreed of course because that's what he wants 
she then goes to the leaders of the city and said listen xyz and of course they this woman is i don't know she is revolutionary because she goes to the leaders in the city who were with sheba ready to fight job enough she explains to them the situation they themselves then behead sheba and carry out the head of sheba to joab this wise woman the bible said in second samuel 20 he the bible referred to her as a wise woman twice this wise woman we don't know her name she had no name but she was wise and she saved a city and after joab got the head of sheba war done battle done peace again gone back to his business you know where king david was and all was well and i want to share that because <laughs> there are some fires that the lord will place us as women in places to to out there are, mm, rokondaba, mediators i remember sharing this with a friend this this same scripture with a friend and she said this woman was a mediator and the word is coming back to me now because it is indeed true god has endowed us as women with wisdom to be mediators among other things ah that we can rally troops that we can stop wars do you know the power that he has given you so amazing so amazing so don't doubt that you are a powerful woman filled with wisdom. And there was something that the Lord, you know, impressed upon my heart, even as I was reading this. And I even started to look about, look concerning the Hebrew word for wisdom and what it meant, you know, to be intelligent, to be crafty, to be skillful in technical work, to be wise in administration. And so the Lord said, may you be remembered for your wisdom. Even if they forget your name or never learn your name, may they never forget the wisdom from heaven with which you spoke. Have a blessed one, my lovely woman of God. God bless you real good. Bye.